We are five days away from the Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. Go ahead and smash five likes, y'all. Y'all can do that real quick. <laughs> What's shaking, people? It's Doom Killer HD. Sit back and relax. You are now rocking with the best. And today we are discussing the Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League and the post-launch content. So if you go on to enjoy the video, please smash that like button, people. Hit subscribe, ring that notification bell, that way you never miss an upload episode or when I am live. You think it's a game if you want to, but homie, we ain't playing. Don't you want you, I don't want you. DSG is the game. Now, welcome back to the channel where we discuss all the superhero info in news and in gaming and entertainment for you, that way you are in the know. Now, today we are going to be discussing the free, yes, I said free DLC content coming to Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. There was a question asked to one of the developers about uh, post-launch content and how much it, was co it would cost. It was a little bit of confusion about uh, pricing or if it was going to be free. And he literally said, it is all free. Now, that is such a good thing because you don't have to worry about, you know, a $39.99 DLC dropping, you know, every six months or something like that and wondering if you have the funds to afford it or whatnot because it's free. Now, that does leave me a little bit concerned coming, being an Avengers player where all the downloadable content was free. You know what I mean? All of the heroes are free. All of the missions were free. The only thing that they sold were cosmetics. Now... I'm not sure if the Suicide Squad cosmetics are going to be that fire to where it can sustain the game. That's just my work. It's not nothing that anyone should be concerned about. It's just a concern that I have coming from Avengers. Um, it's a little bit worrisome because Avengers could not sustain the game selling only cosmetics and they sold a lot of cosmetics from MCU suits to comic suits to original suits. They sold a lot of cosmetics and it still wasn't enough to sustain the game. So I'm wondering if Suicide Squad may suffer the same fate. Hopefully they don't. They seem to have everything on track where Avengers was not on track. So if the game drops and it goes as planned and we get the Joker DLC in March, we'll, we'll go from there because we were supposed to get a certain character Kate Bishop at a certain time and we didn't. It got pushed back and then Hawkeye got pushed back. So if we don't deal with any of the pushback, we should be golden. So hit cheers to the free, free, yes I said, free DLC. Also a little bit worrisome, but it is what it is. What do you guys think about the DLC? Do you think it's a good idea that it's free? Do you think that they should probably start selling DLC after a certain season or something like that? Let me know in the comment section what you think about the free DLC. With all that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash that like button. We're five, five days away from Suicide Squad Kills the Justice. Let's smash five likes. With all that said, ladies and gentlemen, which means let the good times roll. Peace out, people.